Hi, welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. Today, we will tackle subtracting mixed numbers with similar fractions without or with regrouping. We will start in subtracting without regrouping. Let's take this example. 8 and 9 twelfths minus 4 and 6 twelfths equals. In subtracting mixed numbers with the same denominators without regrouping, subtract the numerators, then subtract the whole numbers, and copy the common denominator. Express the answer in lowest term. In this example, the fraction in the minuend 9 twelfths is greater than the fraction in the subtrahend, which is 6 twelfths. So, we can subtract directly. Subtract the numerators 9 minus 6 equals 3. Subtract the whole numbers 8 minus 4 equals 4. Copy the denominator 12. The answer is 4 and 3 twelfths. But the fraction 3 twelfths can be reduced to lowest term by dividing 3 and 12 by their GCF, which is 3. Let us answer. Copy the whole number 4. Then divide. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. The answer is 4 and 1 fourth. Now, let's do subtraction with regrouping. Let's take this example, 3 and 2 fifths minus 1 and 4 fifths equals. Look at the fraction in the minuend, 2 fifths. It is less than in the fraction in the subtrahend which is 4 fifths. So, we need to regroup before subtracting. To subtract mixed numbers with the same denominators with regrouping, the fraction of the minuend will borrow from the whole number. Or, take 1 from the whole number, change 1 to fraction equal to 1 with the same denominator as in the fraction, and add it to the fraction. After regrouping, subtract the numerators, subtract the whole numbers, and copy the denominator. Express the answer in lowest term. Okay, let's regroup now. We will take 1 from 3. So 3 will become 2. Add 1 to the fraction, but change it first to a fraction equal to 1, in which the denominator is the same as the denominator of the fraction. Then, add them together. So it will become 2 and 7 fifths. Okay, write the subtrahend. 1 and 4 fifths. So let us subtract now. Subtract the numerators. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Subtract the whole number. 2 minus 1 equals 1. Copy the common denominator. 5. The answer is 1 and 3 fifths. It is already in lowest term. Let's have another example. 6 and 1 8 minus 5 and 5 eighths equals. This time, we will use a technique in regrouping. To do the shortcut method in regrouping mentally, just minus 1 from the whole number. Add the denominator to the numerator of the minuend and copy the denominator. We can do it mentally. 6 minus 1 equals 5. 1 plus 8 equals 9. And copy the denominator 8. Easy, isn't it? Now, write the subtrahend. 5 and 5 eighths. Let's subtract now. 9 minus 5 equals 4. 5 minus 5 equals 0. Of course, we will not write 0. Then, copy the denominator 8. 4 eighths can be reduced to lowest term. Let's divide 4 and 8 by their GCF, which is 4. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. The answer is 
one half. Last example, 15 and 6 ninths minus 7 and 4 ninths. In this example, we can automatically subtract because the fraction of the minuend is greater than in the fraction of the subtrahend. This is subtracting without regrouping. So let us answer. 6 minus 4 equals 2. 15 minus 7 equals 8. Copy the common denominator, 9. The answer is 8 and 2 ninths. Now, can you answer this problem? 18 and 3 tenths minus 10 and 8 tenths.